Welcome to part 7 of the Wily Wars commentary. Now we're beginning the longest part of the playthrough. Mer uh, Rockman 3. Doctor Japanese syllables with an exclamation and question mark. Snake Man. I ah. want to know what that subtitle said. Uh, I believe it's the end of Dr. Wily. <laughs> yeah, you're not fooling anyone. Well, uh, a lot, all the games in Japan had subtitles. Yeah. Uh, except for the first game, I think. Yeah. Because um, mm -hmm. I, I think um, the second game was the Revenge of Dr. Wily. Uh, this is the end of Dr. Wily. And fourth and beyond, I, I you got me there. I don't remember those. I don't commit those to memory. So if the subtitle was called End of Dr. Wily, nobody believed the instruction uh, the instruction <laughs> pamphlet bullshit of, oh, Dr. Wily and Dr. Light made up, and they're friends again. Now they're <laughs> going to make a giant peacekeeping robot named Gamma. Peacekeeping. As yes. in pointing out nu nukes at people and say, okay, we're going to have peace now, right, guys? <laughs> we're going to establish peace by blowing everything up. We must show them our peaceful ways. <laughs> By force. <laughs> hey, it, hey, it works. If there's no people around, they can't fight, so there's peace. Peacekeeping! Oh, so we're going to Sephiroth logic. <laughs> uh, more Seymour Guado. True. I guess that works better. <laughs> yeah, there, there can be no more death if everybody's already dead. Mission yes. accomplished. <laughs> if we use up all the hair gel in the world, no one will fight over it anymore. <laughs> That's how Square Enix got started. Oh. Hair gel is only the beginning. Gosh, this level looks terrible in 16 bit. <laughs> what is it? The, the the brick wall, the scales. Why was Rush blue? Uh, the color palette quirk. Yeah. Yeah. It, it just looks so. It looks terrible. Like, okay, are we supposed to be walking around on cylindrical snakes? First of all. Uh, y yes. Kind of, kinda, a little bit. Because they look kind of cubic. They look more like they're flat on one side. They yeah, don't but you can see you, you can see the darker gradient though as it goes up or down. It's it's cylindrical. The only the only parts that look cylindrical are those moving parts there and the snake's neck. And well, you can the, tell the snake's because... head looks pretty much exactly like the ape sprite only they they might have added a little bit more. It's, shine it's the it. shine. They they added shine to the to the to the moving snake parts. And to the snake's neck, and that and that shine clearly marks the snake as being a cylindrical object. And the rest of the level, the actual level, lacks that. Oh well, now and, we're in the clouds. <laughs> and it looks well, those um those pole vaulting enemies that we saw there were changed for Wily Wars. Um, in the original, uh, the, when they pole vaulted, the pole stood on the ground. It tumbled. It, it tumbled for a bit, then it went down. In the Wilder Wars version, the pole vault goes up with them, making them easier to slide under. Ah, uh, and they're also perfectly willing to just jump off to their deaths. Yeah, <laughs> that's another issue. <laughs> Isn't one of the uh, the 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 rules of robotics that a robot has to preserve uh, has to have a self preservation instinct? Unless that comes at the cost of hurting a human. Yes. Yeah. So. Wow. If you logic it around enough, we're, we're we're spewing carbon dioxide into the air with every breath we take, so that's harmful to humans. We should all just sort of die now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you first. <laughs> yeah, I always go Snake Man first with Mega Man Three because I think his pattern is pretty easy to get around with. He only easy. shoots he only shoots two search snakes at a time, and then he just goes left and then he goes right. Getting X three flashbacks actually. I do Magnet Man first because Magnet that Man? That, in, that invisible block section is not that hard, Ryan. Yeah, I tend to go Hard Man first. Uh, Hard Man, I don't have much experience. Bustering only, I always have the, the Magnet. He, he only he has a, he has a set pattern. So once you learn it, it's really easy. What is that set pattern? He jumps so, around no, and he shoots. No, he no he, sh he he shoots the two hard knuckles, which can be at different angles, but. It depends on your height, so you can manipulate it. Okay. Jumps to the other side, does the slam attack. Repeat. Hmm. Yeah, Snake Man, um, as long as you, um, like with the first round, when he starts going left for the first time, that's when you're going to have to cast some pretty good jumping skills to avoid him entirely. But once you get to that center pillar, which I'm on right now, uh, it's just a matter of jumping over him before he jumps over the pillar himself. You should never get touched. Uh, if you have good timing. 
So All it's right, snake that shoots out little tadpoles. Um, uh, snakes? They look like tadpoles. They're, they're snakes. They're supposed to be snakes. They look like tadpoles. <laughs> they're snakes. Oh, you don't listen to the second half of the get a weapon theme. Ah. You're, thrust, you're frustrating, John. It's a good theme, but we can't watch a static screen for 10 seconds. Well, you only, you only need to play it once. I do like the, um, the item get, uh, music in this game. That's my favorite one in the entire series. Wow, except for the parallax scrolling, this level looks completely and utterly unchanged. <laughs> okay, am I the only one who thinks that Gemini Man's theme's really kind of lame? I don't... I don't hum it. That, uh, that's what you're getting at. But the Mega's made it a noir detective duo. <laughs> well, no, it's weird, because that, that track is quickly becoming, like, my favorite, uh, one of my favorite things that they've ever done. And I absolutely cannot stand the any other version of the original track. It's really, really weird. What is it about the original track that it just turns you off about it? Eh, well, it's a, I think it's kind of annoying with its background beat, and I cannot remember the melody to, to save my life. Uh, the, the background beat is pretty simple. It's like boom, 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 Yeah, but it just, boom, boom. it never changes, so. Yeah. It kind of strikes me as one of those, tr one of those tracks that's, that's okay to listen to in game, but not really all that memorable outside of it. Also, who was that mysterious man? <laughs> Why is he so tinier than me? Yeah, as we said in the beginning of the Mega Man 1 playthrough, Mega Man's sprite was upscaled, but Proto Man's wasn't. So, uh... You mean blues. <laughs> the Proto-Man. We're playing man. the Japanese version. <laughs> Pro Proto-Man. Break blues. Man. <laughs> Ted's right, I'm sorry. Blues. <laughs> Why is he blues, but Be he's no, red? Because blue, because, blues, uh, because blues was the musical precursor to rock and roll. And he's yeah, the... but, 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 but Mega Man is... Rock Man is blue, <laughs> but blues is red. <laughs> <laughs> the blues came first. Yeah. And besides, Mega Man's technically all different colors. <laughs> yeah. What do we call him Rainbow Man? Also, screw these tadpole things. They make they're this level really annoying. They actually are. But they're great for farming. This time, they're like they, they come out of frog eggs. They're great for farming, though. Yeah, th I guess true. Uh, more for weapon energy if you need to. Yeah. You can also get lives. Well, that said, uh, Mega Man 3 is definitely one of the more generous Mega Mans uh, of the uh, the 8-bit the uh, collection. Despite, despite that, it's still one of the hardest ones. You think so? Yeah. I think with enough practice, I think this is pretty... No, I know Mega Man 2 is definitely easier. Yeah. Well, uh, no, I think I tend to get uh, stuck on a lot of the Doc Robot stages, and the, the, Wily, the Wily Fortress isn't that bad, but there's a lot of tricky parts in this one. Uh, more than- no, I think the most difficult part of 3 is the Doc Robot stuff. Yeah. Uh, everything else I think is pretty simple. Nothing well, it's not like- it, well, not, it's not harder than the first game, which is- no. is still the hardest, but, you know. It, it can- I, it, it's definitely worse than 2 in some points. Uh, I would definitely rate- wise. uh, I would definitely rate 1 and 4 to be the most difficult. Oh, well, I haven't played 4, so. 4 jacked up the spot- the, the bottomless pits and spikes. Boing. If only you had a submarine to use in this. <laughs> ah, rush jet and, and good old-fashioned platforming skills is all you need. And a slide. I love the slide. If only you could drive in a dog. Underwater! <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, dude, man. History repeating blue and red are awesome. Listen to them. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Look at that. I got two E-tanks at this fucking stage. The Search Snake, again, one of my favorite weapons to do. I, I just love grounded weapons. But doesn't the Spark Shot do something similar to that, too? No. Uh, oh, no, uh, I'm thinking of the Plug Ball from uh, Mega Man nine. 9. Okay. Yeah. Which is a better Search Snake, in my opinion, because it's faster. Okay. Stage but done. Shall we go after Gemini Man now? Yeah, all your weapons are blue in the subscreen, which is also why Rush is blue. Huh. Okay. Now 
Now, what do you guys think about the Wily Wars versions of the Mega Man 3 soundtrack? Um, there's eh. nothing been, that's there's nothing that's uh, really aggravated me uh, so far, you know. <laughs> You're gonna die to Gemini Man? Oh, you barely survived Gemini Man. It sounds like 8-bit music giving some Genesis twang. <laughs> The laser was literally inches in front of your face. <laughs> it's a good thing it just disappears as soon as the Gemini Man dies. <laughs> <laughs> what a pal. <laughs> One unit of health left. Well, and Gemini Man can at least say before he goes to hell, I made you blink. <laughs> <laughs> Gemini laser, which I barely fucking use. Well, it's pretty useless, honestly. It moves really slowly, and if you only get one on screen, so if it bounces, then you're kind of screwed. Yeah, it bounces off walls. Uh, I don't remember if the Wily Wars version fixes the problem the NES version had with the Gemini laser. Where you can't pause. You can't pause while it's bouncing on the screen. Uh. Oh. That is a problem. Yeah, you, 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 you miss with it, it bounces, and it's like, oh shit, <laughs> I gotta wait. Huh. This level, I don't remember what it looked like in the 8-bit version, but for some reason it looks less 8-bit than the other levels in its remake. That's an issue that I had with Mega Man 3 as opposed to 2, is that a lot of the levels were kind of dull. Like, the themes were, um... It, there's a lot of, like, warehousey looking areas, and the, the, the levels didn't feel as distinct, uh, for the most part. I think part. it's because of the, the plot of this game in particular. Not that I'm defending it, because I agree. Uh, you know, in, we're farming energy crystals to power up Gamma. So there's a lot of industrialization in terms of where, where the setting is of this game. But I agree, Mega Man 2 I think did a better job, only because there was no rhyme or reason for any of the level design that we had. You know, Flash Man was in a crystal-like stage because reasons. Uh, and, and so on and so forth. Well, it's, yeah. it's not like you really need to have too much of a reason for a Mega Man game, you know? You Everybody knows that the plots in this game are an excuse to go shoot some robots and then, you know, keep on going. Yeah, it's just sometimes, sometimes a platform will try to have a plot, and sometimes that plot will just sort of conflict with the very concept of level variety. Super Mario Sunshine is a huge, huge, huge offender. Well, yeah, you know, you can just jump through portals of paint and appear several miles away. That makes sense, right? Yeah, right. But, but 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 all the levels in that game stuck strictly to a, a tropical island theme. As a result, you had a lot of beaches. And, it, you know, it did a good job of variety within those themes, but at the same time... It was... So what you're saying, Super Mario Sunshine had too much sunshine. Can you feel it? Somewhat, yeah, I guess. Well, that was easy. <laughs> that laser comes out of your cannon so goddamn slow, and I think it was partly just boss slowdown, but it was hilariously slow. Well, lasers are supposed to go at the speed of light, because that's what it is. Light. That Quote, hurts. laser. Huzzah! Can I, can I leave now? Yes, you can leave now. Okay. Mega Man takes forever to leave in this version. Mm -hmm. Why is he so intense? Is this like, did, did Sakurai decide, oh, we need to make Mega Man have angry eyes because he's in the American version this time? Well, they, I don't know, he's still in Japan. Here's my question. Hmm. Why does Dr. Light wait until you complete specific stages to give you the rush the rush items? Because he's, he's building it. Is he? Uh... That's the justification I think of. He's currently yeah, modifying think, I, Rush. Yeah, I think that's their explanation, but... Ah, okay. Sparkman. I love Sparkman's theme. It does sound like it, Much better on the 8-bit system. Oh, no, I'm just talking about the theme in general. Well, yeah. I, I've never gotten why Sparkman's theme was so popular. It's alright, but it's not my well, favorite. Well, if it's not Sparkman, it's Topman. Uh, but I, I like, like, I like Shadow Man's more. theme. I don't get why people like Shadow Man's theme too. It's it feels like two completely separate melodies stapled together, for whatever reason. Like they've got that more intense thing at the beginning, and then they've got the really uppy part at the end. And I'm like, why are these two different melodies in the same song? I, just, I don't get it. Uh, I have to listen to the soundtrack. I don't I don't remember Shadow Man's theme at all. 
Well, there's there's like a really sort of um, a more. I, I can't really think of the right word, but it's definitely the the second half is definitely a lot more upbeat than the first half. <laughs> Platforming. <laughs> Ow! If you give me the ability to fly. Oh, does the flight work like Mega Man uh, three in this one, or do you have? Yeah. Okay, so no, it, it's, it's not like, Mega Man it's, four, it's five, yeah. six. Yeah, they 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 kept that for the sake of you know making sure it's exactly like the third game, where you can pretty much fly anywhere. Oh, rush jet. <laughs> <laughs> I think they could have justified uh, Rush Trap being the exact same way in Mega Man 3 if they just made the ammo consumption more of a problem. You know, because I, I get why they had to nerf Rush Jet in 4, 5, 6, and beyond. But I think if you, if, if, if you made Rush Jet the same way it was in Mega Man 3 and just upped the ammo consumption, I think that would have been a proper balance to it. Hmm. But maybe that's because I just like using Rush Jet in this game. <laughs> Free flight is awesome. Yes, it is. Although, I won't, uh, the, the super adapter in 7 was also pretty good, too. Well, it was a double jump, essentially, so. Yeah, and I always like those. What I want to know is why you have to wait for Rush to be able to fly in later games when he can clearly already do that. <laughs> well, Mega Man should still have the data for the Metal Blades now, shouldn't he? I think I think Dr. Wily just happens to do his hard drive wipe every single time right before Wily decides, oh yeah, time to go get more eight more robots. So it's just really awful timing every single time. Uh, wasn't there like a... I couldn't remember reading an explanation as to why Mega Man ditches his weapons at the beginning of every game. Well, there was an explanation in the Ruby Spears cartoon. But... It's oh, like it's there? in his like short-term uh, Yeah, it's, a, it's a short term. It, it's a, yeah. So he just can't convert it to a long term? Yeah, he just doesn't have the space to hold all of them at one time. Oh, that's so lame. So keep the metal blades, ditch everything else. Yeah, you don't need the knowledge of that bookkeeping procedural... Whatever, keep the metal blades. Okay, now I'm just reminded of that scene from Spongebob where he's just like, where all the people in the, his brain are just <laughs> dumping. It's just like childhood meant Marie's basic math. Hey, if you don't... Fine dining and breathing. <laughs> Hey, you better not be slacking off here or you're fired. We're not uh, real. We're, not, we're just imaginary personifications of the abstract idea of thought. <laughs> One more crack like that and you're fired. Please, I have a wife and kids. <laughs> he threw out his name. <laughs> <laughs> and Sparkshot. Another weapon I barely use. More than uh, Gemini Laser. <laughs> 